Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Kramer from Wrightsville Beach Family Medicine in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm going to talk about the effects of HPV on the genital system. Uh, HPV is a human papillomavirus. It is a sexually transmitted disease. It's uh, probably one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases. It, men can be asymptomatic carriers or they'll have no symptoms and no signs are available in men, but they can spread it to women. In women and men, there can be um, outside signs on the skin of HPV infection, which can be warts um, on the skin and warts on the penis, the base of the penis and things like that. Um, there are two main types of HPV, the wart-causing type and the cancer-causing type. Um, and if you have these problems, your healthcare provider might do a culture or a biopsy to find out what type of virus you have. Most HPV infections will You'll never have signs or symptoms. You may get it and your body may clear it on its own, but sometimes they require treatment and there are treatments available for it. Also too, one important part to uh, taking care of HPV infections is prevention. Using condoms and safe sex, safe sex techniques is very important and if you do have an HPV infection, getting the proper cervical cancer screenings is uh, very important. There is also um, an immunization available called Gardasil that young women can take, which is best to take before they get um, HPV infections because it will then prevent the body from developing HPV. Also HPV is an important type and there are certain subtypes of HPV for cervical cancer development so that's why routine screenings are real important. That's a little bit about HPV infections.